You know how your mom or dad tell you to wash your hands before you eat your food because of bacteria? Oh. Well, today we're gonna swab places and we're gonna see if there's really bacteria there. Welcome to Ryan's world. First up, we're gonna dip the swab in water. First swab, I'm gonna test out my sister's shoe. Let's go. Whoa. Ugh, so dirty. Okay, let's go now. These are at our plates, and I'm gonna transfer the bacteria and see how it grows. Now I'm gonna label it. Next, I love playing with slime, so we're gonna see if my slime has bacteria in it. Let's go! This is the slime I've been playing with. So technically, it's probably a little bit of my hands in the slime. Let's do this! Now let's put it on the aggro plate. You know how your parents always tell you to brush your teeth? Well, we're gonna see if mommy's teeth is dirty or not. <laughs> My daddy's always playing on his laptop, so let's see if it's dirty. Test out if a soccer ball has bacteria. Whoa! So this is how I do it. Now let's transfer it to the agar plate. Next we're gonna test out the refrigerator. Because everybody touches this to get food. Bobbing the handle. Now let's transfer it to the agar plate. Now I'm going to transfer the plates into the box. After I close it, now we're going to do do not touch. Now we're going to keep this in a safe place and we're going to check up on it in three days. Yay! It's been five days, now let's see if there's bacteria. There's no way, I've been cleaning the house every day, so there's no bacteria whatsoever. Let's check it out. Okay, whoa! whoa! So this is probably the best one, slime. It's barely dirty, it barely has bacteria. Slightly, yeah, that's clean, uh-huh. The fridge is probably the second best because there's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Yeah, one here. so the colony of the bacteria, there are many, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. See, you're welcome. Bye. I think this is the best one. Mommy's teeth. Woo! Mommy's teeth? Whoa, that's the cleanest one. Even cleaner than slime. I know. Whoa, what a good example, Mommy. Wow. Okay. Ah. Let's pick up some bad ones. Who is this? That's your laptop. My, my, my laptop? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh. So you better wash your hands after you use your laptop, or oh you need to clean your laptop too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know I've been touching it. Now I know. I should clean my laptop every day too. Soccer thingy. Soccer thingy? What, what? Soccer ball. A soccer ball. <laughs> A soccer ball's good. Are you serious? Soccer ball Is compared better? to my laptop, it's much cleaner. I'm, I'm embarrassed. And a good shoe. Whoa. I'm sorry, Evan. Wait, your laptop is dirtier than Evelyn Kate's shoe. No, wait, the shoe's been going outside, inside, outside, inside. My laptop's still dirty? All right, today we learned something important, guys. Always wash your hands and clean a lot of stuff that you use, like a laptop. Yeah, this is my lesson today. You guys should also do an experiment like this to see which parts of your house are dirty. Bye. Bye! Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Bye! Bye.